Welcome back to my writer's room, everyone. I'm Matt Wallace, and thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to come hang out with me here in my lonely little writerly sanctum. I always appreciate it. Uh, me not being naked on the vlog is brought to you by our t-shirt of the day, which is Secret Wars. Uh, the one that gave birth to the black Spider-Man suit that made a million nerds come screaming in their pants. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think I was actually going to say that when I started the vlog. But I did, I did say it. Um, so it is November 23rd, 2017. And uh, you know what day it is. And then that's Sam Shackle Pig, and he's eating Chinese food. Because that's how he rolls uh, today. So, oh, by the way, if you want to win an original Ham Shackle, uh, uh, Ham Shackle sketch, tweet or uh, otherwise social media, hashtag Team Ham Shackle. I will be giving one of these away at the end of every week. I'll be randomly selecting a winner Friday. Out of the people that uh, tweeted uh, Team Hamshackle that Team Hamshackle that week and uh, promoted uh, the vlog here, so that's something you can do if you want to do it. I still don't know why people want to do it, but they they seem to be enjoying it, and I'm and I'm glad. Uh, so yeah, happy holidays to those who are celebrating. Um, here's the thing: I'm not going to spend six or seven minutes uh, ranting and raving about Thanksgiving. I'm just I'm not going to do it today. My voice is still shot. I'm very emotionally and psychologically drained, and I'm not going to do it. What I am going to do is in the description of, uh, of this episode, I'm going to include a link to an op-ed that I read yesterday that really encapsulated everything I would have ranted and raved about today uh, much better than I ever could, and from uh, the perspective and the voice of someone who you should be listening to about these types of things. The op-ed is called um, The Future is Indigenous, Decolonizing Thanksgiving. It was written by uh, Miley Arvin, very talented indigenous writer. Uh, it's on Truth Out. I will include the link in the description. Take a minute, go read the article for me. Do that for me. Even if, this is, even if you're someone who rolls their eyes when people start ranting and raving about Thanksgiving, I would appreciate it if you would go do that. Uh, because here's the thing, and again, I'm not going to rant and rave, I'm just going to say this. Uh, Thanksgiving is bullshit. It's a bullshit holiday. Everything, virtually everything you were taught in the school about it was a lie. And everything they continue to teach in American public schools about it is a lie. It's bullshit. It offends me um, as someone who has a genuine reverence for history and the truth about history. It offends me as just a regular ass human being with empathy it offends me as someone who follows and reads and really enjoys a lot of indigenous writers and has a lot of indigenous uh, friends. Very hard for me to ignore the shit we all ignore today about Thanksgiving. So that's all I'm going to say about it. Go read that. Go read that article. It's a it's it's an important thing for a lot of people that uh, we genuinely just ignore and continue to shit on as a country. So I would appreciate it if you would do that. Um, so well, uh, yeah. I really hope that y'all took my advice uh, from yesterday's vlog and reached out to the people in your life, friends, relatives, acquaintances, and just uh, gave them a place to be today if they did not have a place to be, if that's something you were able to do. Not everybody's able to do that. Short of that, I hope you, uh, if you can today, even if you can't, uh, you know, invite a bunch of people over or, or uh, you know, give, uh, give shelter to people who don't have somewhere to go. You at least call up the people in your lives and let them know that uh, that they're not alone today because that's like a, that's a big thing. Um, as for me, I will be spending today with my wife and uh, her mother and her grandmother. And it really it really got me thinking this year in particular about how holidays um, are one of the more like like our lives go through an immense evolution. Which is some, we have such micro lifespans when you really look at it. Human beings do. It's a weird thing. But despite how short our lifespans are, we've managed to uh, we managed to evolve and go through so many versions of our of, of that short little life. We managed to live so many lives during that. One of the ben I think one of the benchmarks of that, at least in American culture, I can't speak for other ones, but uh, one of the benchmarks for that evolution are holidays. It's how we spend them who we spend them with, what we do, um, that really reveal the stage that we are uh, in, in our lives and really reveal the changes that have happened in, in those lives. And uh, what got me thinking about it was, 
<clears throat> today, you know, I didn't come from a religious family. I came from a non-denominational family. And they observed Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter and all the regular you know, American holidays just out of, not even out of tradition, I wouldn't even say, but out of habit. You know, so they were, they grew up with it, so they, they continued to do it. And um, so all it ever was for us was you got, you got the whole family together and you did the thing, whatever the thing was, whether it was hunt for Easter eggs or eat the turkey or exchange the presents around the tree. You know, you did the thing. And when I was a little kid, uh, they were massive family events. Like, we would all get together at my grandmother's house um, in uh, North Shore, which was by the Salton Sea, ass into the desert, virtually nothing out there. I don't know if it's any different now. But, yeah, the whole family would get together at her house. Cousins we hadn't seen in forever. Extended family, relatives. We'd all dress up. The meal was huge. It was this giant um, affair. And then when I got a little older, I started getting into, into my teens, that changed uh, radically uh, as the relationship dynamics in my family changed. And I'm not going to get into a whole thing about that. But essentially, like, I went from when I was like eight or nine big family affairs to like middle school, high school. It was just me and my mother and we would do non-traditional Thanksgivings. We'd go like get Chinese food or we'd do, we'd do like uh, lobster and steak we did one year. Like we'd do something different. And that became the thing. And then, uh, you know, you get a little older, you get out on your own, you're trying to make your way, and uh, the holidays become a reminder of how uh, everyone kind of has to go through a period of isolation and um, transitioning into adulthood in their lives. They have to essentially be alone. You're either alone or you form a, a makeshift uh, family of like a community of friends. My wife... Uh, when she was younger, they would do what she called uh, homey Thanksgiving, where all of their friends would get together at a friend's house, and they would do a friend a friend Thanksgiving. They'd all bring food, like a like a potluck. And I think a lot of people go through that, and uh, and for a long time, that was kind of my experience of it. <laughs> it was either doing it on my own or, or doing a makeshift kind of thing until I got together with my wife and I started attending Thanksgiving with her family. And we included uh, my mother in that. <laughs> and they became big family affairs again. It like came back around. You know, I became the the dude at the adult Thanksgiving, but from the adult perspective, it kind of came full circle. But, uh, and that lasted for a good, you know, five or six years. Like that, that became my, my reality and my experience of Thanksgiving. And then um, last year, uh, around Christmas, tragically, uh, Nikki's father passed. And that really changed the dynamic of, of holidays once again, just completely reformed it. And uh, this is the first year we're doing stuff without him. And it just so happens that this year, like, my mother can't make it and Nikki's grandparents, other grandparents can't make it. And her sister and her husband are out of town with uh, his family. And it's a very, it's a more compact event than we're used to. And it's going to suck in a lot of ways. It's very difficult for Nikki's mom right now. She's, she's putting on a brave face and she's, she's doing the best she can, but it's just, it's hard. So we're going to, we're going to make the food and we're going to get together the family, gather together the family that we can. And we'll probably watch a movie or something and just try to like, and try to just be without being horribly sad. And that will be our experience of Thanksgiving this year. And that's okay. It, it will be because what all this has taught me is that this isn't the end of it. It's not like Thanksgiving is over. It's going to become something else. You know, Nikki and I will probably have children. You know, her sister and her husband may have children. My cousins, who I've since reconnected with as an adult, uh, you know, they all have kids and stuff. And Thanksgiving and holidays and all of those big benchmark yearly events will become something else. And that's, and I, and I find, I find a strange sense of optimism in that. And I think optimism and hope are in kind of short supply on a national level these days. So I don't know. That's just, that's what I was thinking about. The last thing I want to say before I end this uh, very special uh, Thanksgiving edition of the vlog is that um, as much as I encourage everyone to reach out to people and give people a place to be and check on people, I'm aware that that doesn't honestly actually help everyone. Um... I've been the person who can be in a crowded room filled with people I know, even family sometimes, and still feel alone. I know that's a thing. I've experienced that myself. And I just wanted to say, if you're one of those people who uh, you may be surrounded by a bunch of folks that still feel alone and, and isolated and outside, 
like that's okay, man. It's just that you're not the freak, and uh, there is a form of happiness out there for you. You may just not have found it yet. I managed to find the place in the world where I fit, and uh, so I just wanted to say in a, in a corny ass way that I can't think to express any better right now, and it's so trite, and I apologize. Like I'm with you. If you're that person, you're not. Uh, you're not on your own. I'm with you. I get it. I've been there. I empathize, and uh, I just. I hope you keep. Uh, I hope you keep persevering. And searching for that place where you don't feel alone in a crowded room, because uh, it's out there, you know. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it gets better. That's like not mine. But seriously, like I'm, I'm with you on that one. Uh, thank you for uh, watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the video, what you're thinking of the vlog. Please, uh, you know, utilize hashtag Team Hamshackle. Help me get the word out. Uh, again, you can win a sketch. I'm gonna announce the winner tomorrow. Also, if you missed it, Nikki, my wife and I did an unboxing video yesterday on Angry Rider. We unboxed an Ipsy Glam bag. She put all the makeup on me to try it out. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool. Nikki's actually really knows her shit about makeup, so it was really informative too. Go check that out if you missed it. Uh, she helped me do an unboxing on my wrestling channel. We unboxed a Slam Crate and ranted about WWE a lot. I think that was very entertaining and informative, so go check out uh, Matt F. and Wallace, my wrestling channel, if you're a wrestling fan. And uh, yeah, try to you know do do the best you can today, man. It's all it's all we can ever do. We're we're all doing the best we can. And tell your racist uncle to go fuck himself. That's my other advice on that one. Just you know, it's and enough being polite. We've been polite long enough, and look where we are. So yeah, um, I'm Matt Wallace. Happy holidays to those who are celebrating. To those who are not, I'm with you. You're not alone. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.